you should appreciate your liver. This workhorse of an organ can't signal for help, until it's often too late. Your liver endures a tremendous amount of stress and toil, 24 hours a day. Hidden from sight, it doesn't provide many clues as to its well-being. Yet it depends on you to give it the care it needs. Are you doing all you can? Your liver might just be the most underappreciated organ in your body. It is your body's largest internal organ and one of its important functions is to help remove toxins and harmful substances. Unlike your gallbladder or appendix, you can't live without your liver, at least not for very long. And unlike some other organs in your body, such as your heart and lungs, it can be difficult to measure how well your liver is working, that is, until it falls to about 10% of its healthy working capacity. Your liver can't skip beats or produce a cough to warn you when it needs help. Just because it sits quietly in your body most of the time doesn't mean it can thrive without special care. Maybe 20 or 30 years ago, a healthy person's liver did just fine without extra support, but today we live in a different world. Today your liver confronts and must overcome challenges it's never faced before. Live without your liver? Don't bet your life on it. Liver Life Supporting Functions Your liver, which is made up of two main lobes, is located beneath your diaphragm and on top of your stomach, right kidney, and intestines. The liver is connected to two large blood vessels, the hepatic artery and the portal vein. 60 liters of blood pass through the liver every minute. The hepatic artery carries oxygen-rich blood from the aorta, whereas the portal vein carries blood-rich and digested nutrients from the entire gastrointestinal tract and also from the spleen and pancreas. The liver is thought to be responsible for up to 500 separate functions, usually in combination with other systems and organs. Currently, there is no artificial organ or device capable of reproducing all the functions of the liver. Besides its primary role of protecting your body from harmful substances, your liver plays other key roles, too. Your healthy liver produces bile, which helps carry away waste and break down fats, helps regulate the levels of sugar, protein, and fat entering your bloodstream, clears your blood of drugs, alcohol, and other potentially harmful substances, processes nutrients absorbed by your intestines during digestion, produces cholesterol, proteins, and clotting factors to help your blood clot. Regulates many of your hormones. Neutralizes highly reactive oxygen molecules, or free radicals. After your liver breaks down harmful substances, they enter your blood or bile and leave your body either through your kidneys and urine or your feces after traveling through your intestines. Normally, all these functions go on like clockwork, without much support on your part. But today many potential threats to your liver's well-being prevail. Is your expanding waistline putting your liver at risk? Stunning new research suggests that your liver may be aging faster than the rest of your body if you hold excess weight in your waist. Researchers found that for each 10-unit increase in body mass index, or BMI, the physiological age of the liver grew by 3.3 years. To put that into real numbers, suppose a 5-foot, 8-inch man weighs 130 pounds and has a BMI of 20. A second man of the same height and age weighs 230 pounds, and has a BMI of 35. The liver of the second man is likely 5 years older than the liver of a normal weight man. And here's another interesting finding. If the second man decided to have surgery to rapidly lose the excess weight, the age of his liver wouldn't change. What's behind this vicious threat to your liver? It may be linked to one of its worst enemies. One of your liver's worst enemies isn't what you might expect. Drinking alcohol harmful to your liver. I'm guessing many people would say their liver's worst enemy is alcohol. Yes, alcohol is harmful to your liver, but there's another substance that's equally so and far more pervasive. Unlike alcohol, this other substance can be found in some form in nearly every processed food in your grocery store. Fructose, corn sugar, corn syrup is the most damaging type of sugar to your body, is particularly hard on your liver, much like alcohol. Fructose must be 100% broken down by your liver. Glucose on the other hand only needs to be partially broken down before it can be utilized. Corn sugars can damage your liver. Corn sugars can damage your liver much like drinking alcohol. Fructose is metabolized directly into fat that gets stored in your liver and other internal organs and tissues as body fat, which leads to mitochondrial malfunction. Fructose produces toxic metabolites and superoxide-free radicals when it is metabolized, that can lead to inflammation in your liver. 
Fructose is a cheap form of sugar that's found in thousands of food products and drinks. It's often deliberately disguised by the use of many different names, so the only way to steer clear of it completely is to avoid eating processed foods. Fructose and other non-fiber carbs are important factors behind the rising rates of liver issues and at least 30 other health concerns. Tragically, even children are now showing signs normally associated with alcohol abuse from their consumption of fructose. Other Silence Layers of Liver Function Unfortunately, fructose isn't the only challenge your liver has to deal with. Plenty more lurk in your home, water, and the air you breathe. Chemicals in plastics like phthalates and BPA slash BPS, flame retardants, and formaldehyde may be found in your living environment impacts liver function. Many people don't realize how their living environments can impact their livers. Furniture and Carpeting Vinyl floor coverings, building materials, paint, mattresses, vinyl shower curtain, children's toys, plastic water bottles and containers, grocery store receipts, scented personal care products. These contaminants enter your body through your skin or your lungs, or from the food and beverages you consume. No matter how they enter your body, they end up in your bloodstream and your liver must process them. Compared to 20 or 30 years ago, we are exposed to far more chemicals in our food, as well as in our living and working environments. Yet your liver hasn't changed, it hasn't evolved to keep up with the increase in challenges. You still depend on it, day in and day out, to help minimize the effects of potential contaminants. Simple ways to help support your liver. Most likely by now you have a healthy appreciation of what your liver is doing for you, or at least trying to do. Responsible for so many essential tasks, your liver can use all the support it can get. Luckily, there's much you can do. Of course, in today's world you can't safeguard your liver function 100%, but it's worth doing all that you can. Recommendation to help protect your liver. Restricting alcohol consumption, and avoid completely if taking acetaminophen or Tylenol. Minimizing or avoiding the use of potentially harmful acetaminophen or Tylenol. Be sure to check labels, it's found in many over-the-counter products. Attaining and maintaining your ideal weight. Restricting your intake of fructose from all sources to about 15 to 25 grams per day. Avoid sweeteners in foods, fruit juices, dried fruits, and limit sugary fruits like grapes, pears, plums, and red apples. Avoiding or minimizing contact with toxic chemicals like pesticides, cleansers, paints and solvents. Buying products packed in glass containers and limiting your use of plastics, including plastic wrap. Adding liver protective foods to your diet, like fermented vegetables, dark leafy green and cruciferous vegetables, clean sea vegetables, sprouts, artichokes, garlic and onions, avocados, berries, whey protein powder from grass-fed cows, and organic pastured eggs and grass-fed meat. In addition to these common sense measures, there's another simple way to help support your healthy liver function by using supplements contain N-acetyl-L-cysteine, NAC, milk thistle, silymarin, organic broccoli sprout. Next actions beyond its role as precursor to glutathione. By replenishing your cells supplies of glutathione on a regular basis, NAC helps your cells regain their ability to protect themselves against free radicals and other damage. This is especially desirable as you age. Researchers have found that NAC does more than just replenish levels of glutathione within your cells. NAC provides additional potential benefits in these areas. Helps regulate the expression of many genes involved with your body's inflammatory response. Supports normal healthy insulin sensitivity. Supports respiratory health. Protects tissues and cells from the effects of oxidative stress from exercise. Supports normal healthy cellular growth and development. There's no question that NAC offers valuable potential for the support of your liver health. Milk thistle has been treasured for over 2,000 years for its value in supporting liver, kidney, and gallbladder health. When the leaves of the plant are crushed, they release a milky sap. Hence the name. The herb milk thistle is an excellent source of the antioxidant compound silymarin, its primary active component. Extracted from the plant seeds, silymarin consists of three flavonoids, silabinin, silidinin, and silacristine, all of which may help repair liver cells that have been damaged by environmental pollutants, alcohol, and fructose. Silymarin has been found to increase glutathione and help prevent its depletion in your liver. It also helps support a normal inflammatory response in your cells through its effect on gene expression. 
support your liver with up to 100 times more of the sulforaphane precursor in fresh broccoli. Broccoli sprouts contain up to 100 times the glucuriphanine found in fresh broccoli. Glucuriphanine is a precursor to sulforaphane, a potent liver supporting substance found in regular organic broccoli, its best known source. However, fresh, young broccoli sprouts, grown from organic broccoli seeds, can contain up to 100 times the amount of this glucuriphanine. When animals in studies chewed or swallowed vegetables containing glucuriphanine, the resulting sulforaphane fired up the body's waste disposal system. This not only helped the body rid itself of pollutants, it also helped protect the body from potential harm. Researchers wanted to see how these substances would work in humans, so they traveled to one of the most heavily industrialized and polluted regions in China to put their theory to the test. They recruited a total of 291 men and women living in a rural farming community in Jiangsu Province, China, about 50 miles north of Shanghai for their 12-week trial. The treatment group received a half cup of a beverage made with broccoli sprout powder containing glucuriphanine and sulforaphane, combined with sterilized water, pineapple and lime juice. Urine and blood samples were taken during the trail to measure inhaled air pollutants. The results were astounding. Excretion of a common and potentially hazardous airborne pollutant increased the very first day in the broccoli sprout powder group, by a whopping 61%. And increased excretion continued during the entire 12-week period. Researchers concluded that the sulforaphane in the sprout powder might in some way be signaling to the cells the need to adapt to and survive a broad range of environmental contaminants, including those in water and food.